We're making a purple stew. Do 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 do. We're making a purple stew. Do we do we purple potatoes and purple tomatoes and we want you, DB Cooper. What do you get to add to our purple stew? Twenty dollar bills. <laughs> <laughs> What is up, Adventure Agents? Agent Tex here. We are in the Olympic Peninsula, the Pacific Northwest, and we are here at an old abandoned World War II military bunker. We actually came here a couple days ago, and I was like, oh, we definitely have to do a camping video here. This place is sweet. So we haven't actually explored, in, explored inside of there. It's kind of creepy. It is pretty creepy. They got it barred off, but there's a way in, and so, we're gonna have some fun out here. We're gonna do some bushcrafting and cooking and camping, and we're gonna explore these bunkers. Oh man. So we have to find a way to get in. There's also like a manhole right over here. Down there. You will all perish in flame. <laughs> well then, this is the spot we're gonna camp, right? That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Just don't make too big of a fire. I asked uh, Agent Axe, I said, so are you a little bit scared? And he said, no. He said, not unless there's other people out there. And I said, you know what? Isn't that the truth? There's, yeah. I'm not really afraid of Sasquatch no, or, or yeah, anything else. Yeah. But B.B. Cooper. B.B. Cooper. Oh, oh he's yeah, a people. Yeah. That. He's a legendary people, so. What? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So we way. saw something over here. Well, yeah, we're going to show. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. We haven't explored it yet, but there's a super duper cool thing over here. I bring all the Game Boys, so all of us. If Kyle and saw him in my house, So it's a tradition. Agent X always play Game Boy whenever we. Um, camp so so this is a breathing hole right here it's an air hole I guess or a vent some kind of vent so we're actually on top of the bunker right now there we go right down there all right so check it out like DB see that right there you never know where he could have hit out so so this is where we're gonna camp tonight there's oh. these perfect little shelves here that are covered and we're gonna bushcraft them out. We're gonna put some uh, some wood here, maybe use a bushcraft tarp. Yeah. So these are the beds in the bunker. Some might call them the bunk beds. <laughs> yeah. Daddy, daddy, the bunk it, beds. it is a bunk bed. It is, One yeah. of us sleeps there. It's a bunker the, and it's the a The bunker bed. bunk bed. The bunker bunk bed, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, one could sleep here and then we could build some kind of like Look at these little um, deal here. Little metal like attachments as if there was something pinned here already. Oh yeah, huh. Yeah, yeah, we could attach a tarp I to I wonder that. if they did, um, you know, because it makes me think of like even aerial. I wonder if they had uh, like camouflage canvas or something that came over the top. All oh, right, right. Yeah, these bunkers were here in World War II. They were built here in case of an invasion coming from the West, uh, specifically coming from Japan. So Canada is just right over there, and that is the Strait of Juan de Fuca. Juan de Fuca. Juan de Fuca. Juan yep. Juan de, de Fuca, Fuca was the. Who was uh, that guy? It was the Spanish name given to a France explorer. All right, so we're gonna explore that bunker right now. But first, Asia snacks. What you got for me? I'm oh yeah. Super hungry. Bring it over here. We got the snack pack master oh, over here. Oh okay. okay. Yeah. I <laughs> thought you. Were, I thought he was gonna say I'd left him at home. I was like, yeah. no. No, I've got so many snacks this time. I had to bring <laughs> okay. a, a pack meal just to fit them. That's awesome. Some are shopping. Well, we, well, we brought oh, some too. We got some epic. Oh yeah. Wait, we have venison. Wagyu oh. beef. Oh, I'm totally eating this right we have, now. I'm eating that right now. Uh, we got a uh, first aid kit. So your snacks were great, but I'm gonna make a sandwich too because I'm, right. I'm still hungry. <laughs> Bushcraft. Okay, most important bag Mayonnaise is spreader mine. here. Hey. Where, where did he go for? Oh man. Nice. Oh, oh gosh. Ah, oh, bring him a bag. Oh, bring my back. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is where, uh, yeah, Axel, Axe can sleep there, Russell sleep there. Yeah, we don't need to sleep out there, let's sleep there. That's true, I mean, you could, so I, I'm worried about this paint though, I don't know if it has like lead, and, you know. It, oh man, wow. This is where you ate food, I guess, maybe? It looks like somebody made a fire in here. Oh. There's the stove. Yeah, that's the oven. <laughs> Look at that. Man. Oh man, these rooms are crazy. Wow. Oh, look at these doors. <laughs> wow, these doors are super thick. Oh, check out these hinges. Wow. Ah, I like this one. You are loved. Bingo. Oh, look at that 
that's creepy. Oh, man. Oh, that's the uh, bathroom plumbing right there. There's the toilet. Whoa. I was like, what is this? Somebody drew some beautiful plants here. Dan was here. Dan was there. Oh, whoa. Hello <laughs> there. Hello, sir. How are you? Good day. Good day to you. We'll leave you alone. Oh, that looks like somebody I know. Who is that? He, that, he looks familiar. I'm going to give him a hug. Someone is a killer. We'll never know who the killer is. They marked it out. Joshua Miller. Joshua Miller. Yes. <laughs> you, no, no. Mark Martinez. Eric Mark. Martinez. Eric Martinez was here, but Eric Martinez isn't the killer. Alright, here we go. I'm going out. I tried to stick my leg through like oh, I got <laughs> stuck. It's the bunker bunk bed. <laughs> the bunk two bed. So we don't have any of Agent Axe's fat wood, but Agent Russell thought ahead and he chopped us up some fat wood. Agent X did let us use some of his fat wood, but we used it all on a little fun shindiggy we did the other day up in the Olympic National Forest. So while we were up there, we found some fat wood seems to be rare up there. I couldn't really find much, but we have plenty here because Agent Russell chopped it all up. Go. So you ready to start a fire? Yeah. All right, Agent, let's do uh, it. Agent Tex, can, he can smell it. He can sniff it out know, a yeah. while away. <laughs> he, he, was, he was gone. He, I, I swear you smelt it, and then you were just, he was gone, and he came back with this big old <laughs> core of this old tree, and it was like. I love finding fatwood. It's, it's one of my favorite pastimes. So we have the Adventure Agents Pocket Knife finally in, available now for purchase. Comes in this super cool box, and I really like this knife. Now what's cool about it is it has this really sharp 90 degree edge here, and you can use that for striking on a ferry rod. So, so there's uh, like a series of military planes flying over, it sounds like. So they're like, someone's in the bunker! Go, go, go! Hopefully that we don't get like bombs dropped good on us. Good job. <laughs> We got a bunker to escape to. Yeah, we got to, a bunker so. to escape to. You know, it is crazy, like, thinking about being back in World War II, right? Around that time. At any moment, you know, like, the Japanese could be flying their planes over and start bombing here. And that's what these bunkers were for, was to shoot down planes or ships that would come in, potentially, to attack the West Coast. And thankfully, that didn't happen. My great-great-grandpa was in World War too. Nice. Yeah, my, my grandpa, Agent Axe's great-great-grandpa was in World War II as well. Yeah. So Derek Hi. South, he was at Iwo Jima. Uh, he was shooting down planes, Japanese planes, uh, from a ship instead of from a bunker. In fact, Agent, so. uh, Agent Russell's middle name is Russell. He's named after oh, Russell, no way. Russell Johnson. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So, Agent Russell, what do you call a man with no arms and no legs and a pile of leaves? Uh, Russell. Yeah. <laughs> Russell, Russell, Russell. So, the back of the knife, the back edge of the blade here. Works great. But you gotta be careful, because while you're doing this, you can slip and cut yourself. This knife is very sharp, so. It's a good thing Agent Brightside brought the first aid kit, because Agent Axe just cut himself Look how deep this is. with the Adventure Agent's pocket knife. Jeez, you haven't cut yourself in a long time. You get kind of... Overexcited. Overconfident. Yeah, I cut myself the other day. I hadn't cut myself in years. I mean, like, I don't know, t like 15 years I hadn't cut myself bad. Like decent, yeah. And uh, there you go, Miles. Good job. I ended up cutting myself right there. Oh, yeah. Got a good scar. So, um, don't get overconfident. Always follow the rules. Alright, now you got a pointing finger. So, like I said before, do not just get your kid a knife and just let him go to town. You need to watch him for a long time. Even Agent X, he's been doing great. He, he literally hasn't cut himself like this bad since he was like, I think the he was seven knife. years old. The cooking a knife, but yeah, that was, was way worse. That was a long time ago. That he was wasn't even worse. supposed to be using a knife and that was a pretty bad cut. So, uh, seven years old, he spent all this time I still have that scar, like right? Yeah. There, that. So, anyways. Even, even if you think your kid's good enough, just make sure that you are watching them and paying attention to them. Because you can injure yourself or kill yourself with a knife. Oh. So, 
we were heading out to camp and Agent Brightside's neighbor was like, y'all going camping? We're like, yeah, yeah. And he's like, here, let me get you some firewood. We're like, oh, we don't need it. And he, but he was nice, so we took his firewood and, hey, we'll use some of it. So we got the Adventure Agent hatchet that's available now, theadventureagents.com slash shop. So this is Agent Brightside set up here. We cleared off that for the bunk to sleep. And we got this right here. All of our food and camping stuff is right here underneath this tarp. So now we gotta build out the bushcraft bunk bed here. So let's we gotta, figure. We gotta race against the daylight. Yeah, now. we do, yeah. <laughs> so what time is it? 312. 312. So we got an hour. Hour 15 minutes, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Alright, well. All right, well, let's get to building. So this bunker has all of these little hooks here. And that's gonna be perfect for fastening down the wood and the tarp. Yeah. So Agent X is in jail. <laughs> hey. What, what you in for this time, Agent X? <laughs> I have steam coming off of me because I'm so warm. My knees. Oh, nice. What are you reading? Bailey's story. So it's a story from a dog's perspective. Mm -hmm. Agent X loves to read. Steam firewood. <laughs> Symbol. What does the brown recluse look like? Oh, look like that? Oh, man. I don't know. So I did this because if we get a torrential downpour, the water was just gonna run right underneath the tarp and into, into the tent there. So we needed it such that the water run down, kinda go along this trench, whether it goes under or over the tarp, and it'll run out that way. And it's like the US military knew we were gonna be doing this. They gave us all these little grommets to, <laughs> to attach our paracord to. So we moved the fire because this wind, this draft, is coming from one end of the bunker, the other side, out this side, and it's blowing the smoke all towards our camp right here. So it's getting all up inside of our tent, and we can't sleep at night like that. And it just makes it hard to be here. <laughs> Should have done this at the beginning. <sighs> I don't always drink water, but when I do, I drink from the Adventure Agent's water flask. Stay hydrated, my friends. So the Adventure Agent's tarp comes with a bunch of this paracord here. It's very convenient. It has these plastic tabs attached to it. And oh man, there's another one of those planes. It's really great for tying this thing down in whatever situation. All right, so uh, this is where we are gonna sleep. And uh, down here is where Agent Brightside and Agent Russell are gonna sleep. So our bed, our shelter is all ready to go. and. Uh, Who's ready for some dinner? Oh yeah, dinner time. Yeah, okay. Definitely. Alright, All right, so I got the Adventure Agents wood burning stove here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook chili on it with the Adventure Agents mess kit. Now, this mess kit right here, cooking over an open fire with something like this, very difficult. So I'm just gonna transfer coals into here, even though we have a campfire. And cook right on the stove. A lot easier than cooking on the open fire. So. And I'm gonna make <laughs> rice. So Agent Brightside is using the Adventure Agent's 
table. camping table here. And the adventure. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> yeah, we don't sell a butane stove, but he brought his butane stove and he's gonna cook up some rice. I hope so. Looks like it. Can I breathe it in? So we got this Amy's organic chili. It's a vegetable chili and it does not have meat in it. We're definitely meat eaters, uh, but it's the best chili I could find. And we're gonna put meat in it. wasn't the black bean chili? No, there wasn't the black bean chili. Oh, man. No, oh, what? Oh. Uh, ew. Hooray, it didn't land. Oh, you had a front flip and you saved half of it. <laughs> we're just cutting up this grass-fed beef sausage straight into the chili here. So we're gonna have chili sausage, sausage chili. Well, that, me out of the game. that looks super appetizing, right? Yeah. It's like hot dogs and junk and junk. <laughs> this reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> right. Um, this reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that looks that is such a cute little plate. Where'd you get that? That's part of the mess kit. Oh no way. Really? Oh yeah. The adventures. Dude. Yeah. So one thing I learned in working in construction is that you do a hard day's work. Man, that dinner afterwards, it's the best. It's just the best. Definitely. It's so good. And that mm -hmm. lunch, and the second lunch. Yeah. <laughs> Pink. No, purple. Oh, that's very <laughs> Live evil. Live yeah. So these are fur needles here, and they make for great I threw tea. It away. So the Adventure Agents Mess Kit comes with these two cute little teacups here. They're great for making tea with. Oh, do you want some tea? Yeah. Right. And the Adventure Agents kettle works fantastic as a tea kettle too. You know, those are, that's tea tornado back. Tea oat, and oat. Oat, oat. So there's the spider right there. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's, oh, there's another one crawling right there. Lots of small ones if you look close. Yeah. To oh yeah. Little babies. Okay, let's see. All right, so we're gonna have a spider death count here. Oh, oh there's one right there. Where at? Right there. No, Where? Right there in that whale. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. It's two fish. down. Yeah. Oh, you know what? They probably are. In the crack. They're probably in your sleeping bag. What's the <laughs> They're like. <laughs> we got the sleeping bag in here. Yeah, dude, this is pretty sweet. Yeah. It's great. It's a little narrow on this side, but. Uh, Close it up. Yeah, and I could just make Ax Agent Axe sleep over there. I was thinking, oh, I don't want him to roll off, but now we got these braces here, so he could sleep there and I can sleep there, so. Purple these kids, they, they just, they say the weirdest <laughs> things. No idea Purple Disneyland. That we, <laughs> no. Are you sure We're we should give you marshmallows making a purple stew. What are you going to add to our purple suit? I uh, got a few purple boogers I want to <laughs> give to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. <laughs> now, comment down below what are you gonna add to our purple yeah, suit? Comment down below what would you add to our purple <laughs> suit? <laughs> it's a great, a great campfire great. marshmallow motto. Sometimes you just have to burn it. <laughs> Alright, so just kind of a guy right up a torch here. What's this? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, that really lights away, man. Yeah, it does. All right, hey, this light's pretty good. So we have no other lights going on right now. Zero lights, just this torch, and it does a good job. Uh-oh. Oh, no. The wind blew my torch out. <laughs> it's a good thing I've got my adventure agents. Headlamp. Guess who charges? <laughs> there you go. Guess who charges the adventure agent's headlamp? Who? Him. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Look right here. Ooh. All right, here we go. Wait, we're going. Oh. Hopefully, I don't find any poop in here. Uh oh. Okay, what's up there? Ooh. Uh oh, it's sealed off. Okay, okay, so here is the original entrance that we that we saw. Let us out! We are making a purple suit. Alright, well we didn't find any DB Cooper clues, but we'll still be on the hunt. Forever on the hunt. Oh, we'll find you DB Cooper one day. We're making a purple stew. Do 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 we're making a purple stew. Do we do we purple stew? 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 Do we do we pur
purple potatoes and purple tomatoes and we want you, D.B. Cooper. What are you going to add to our purple stew? $20 bills. Yeah. Blue words. It's set for 10 seconds, so in 10 seconds you'll die. Five, four. Just press start and then L or R to open the map. spiders come back? No, I'm taking my pants off. Oh. <laughs> all right, that's all right. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> we waited too long after dinner, so we're having a, a, a snack. All right, so <laughs> this is super cozy, man. Yeah. I mean, minus the spiders. It, uh, is, it is cozy. It is. It's so a little you, claustrophobic. A little. <laughs> <laughs> Sit up real quick and bash my head. You mean you're a little claustrophobic? All right, good night, you guys. Right. Sasquatch hops on top. Of yeah, yeah. Sasquatch jumps up here. Yeah, that. I don't know. You guys we'll will be see. dead way before yeah, we're yeah, dead. We, now, so. <laughs> all right, we got night. our we got our rails. That yeah, keep us yeah. Away. Uh, Sasquatch is staying away. Sasquatch from can't from get through there. He's gonna see that and say, "Oh, no way, I can get to them." <laughs> yeah. Zip it all the way up. Are you cold? It's cold. <laughs> Alright agents, well, we will see you in the morning if uh, D.B. Cooper didn't get us. Now, this is super cozy. Super cozy. I'm so grateful for you, Agent X, for being here with you, being able to be here with Agent Brightside and their family. Love it. Love it. Good night, agents. Oh, he smells stinky yeah. smell. Oh, stinky socks. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night, stinky socks. Let me smell. Let me smell the stinky socks. <laughs> Good night. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. Middle of the night. I woke up. My head's right. Your head like, was like, right off here. the edge there. Like actually off the edge. All right, we made it through tonight. I slept decent. Let's get some breakfast going. It's the top bunk. <laughs> it was pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. 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 yeah kids normally call it like top bunk, you yeah. know? Yeah. So, uh, how was the bottom bunk? It was pretty good. It was, um, yeah, it was really soundproof, which was nice. Right. There were a couple times when you were trying to get my attention. Uh, and they were like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it, was, it wasn't yeah. until I got out there. Like, At night, I was hearing something. I was like, what is that? What is that? Uh, yeah, and I, I, I kept was... hearing it. I'm like, Kylan? And then I kept hearing it. I was talking to Agent Strongman about some order stuff. I was like, Kylan? And he wouldn't answer, and then all of a sudden, like, it just got really loud, and I was like, Kylan! <laughs> and he was like, yeah, yeah, it's me. I was like, okay. So how did you sleep? Um, better than I do at my house. Better than you do at your house, really? Wow. Oh, that was close. Yeah, there you go. Oh. I'm riding my bike while So with the Avetra Agents hatchet, if you're going to be swinging it hard, definitely take the saw out first because it can fall out while you're swinging. It's just a floating... Uh, yeah, it's flat as a pin. He's Agent Darkside. Agent Darkside. That's the... Agent Axe almost spilled Agent Brightside's coffee and you're going to figure out Agent Darkside if you do that. Very good. Yeah. So the adventure agent spoon is flat on the end, so you can use it as a mini spatula. <laughs> That's gonna be good. So for those of you who are curious, we used Hemplers. Agent uh, Brightside picked these up at the grocery store. Really good sausages. And uh, we use Hemplers bacon too. Really good stuff. Oh yeah. Mm. Pop the pot in. Oh, I did. Oh, yeah. That means if Kyle's drinking, he's getting shorter. That is key. That is key. <laughs> and coffee is. Coffee. And coffee. I don't have a coffee. Love and coffee. <laughs> so, we're going to have second breakfast now. Can I Agent yogurt? Snacks has second breakfast. Yeah, you might have, have some body yogurt. Okay, so this is uh, Bobo's 
gluten-free toaster strudels. Never had this before. I've been waiting for somebody to come out with a better pop tart. Huh. Right here. Hey, Axel. You That's good. Dip it in the yogurt. It's Ooh. so good. Yeah. That's um, a great idea. Huh. Sounds like a seven thing. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great idea, Axel. Holy cow. We uh, think Agent Axel is a seven good? on the Enneagram. We don't know. Isn't that good? We're not trying to put them in a box or anything. Wow. That's the best number, so. <laughs> Comment down below what number on the it? Enneagram do you think that me, Agent Texas, Agent Axis, Agent Brightside, and Agent, um, just based on what you've seen, take a guess. Take a gander. Comment down below. If you don't know what the Enneagram is, Thank go look it up. <laughs> look at that. There's a relic. So it's taking a hole here to do the do. The coffee did its work. And I found this, uh, this old barbed wire fence that goes along the perimeter here. And uh, man, that's cool. That old barbed wire fence to, I guess, if the Japanese invaded, came up this hill. They have some barbed wire. Here's another post right here. They'd have some barbed wire to prevent them from getting up to the bunker. Or at least uh, hold them off for a bit. The kamikaze in World War II, they were suicide bombers. They would uh, just fly planes into ships to destroy, them. to destroy them. Yeah. So my grandfather's in Hawaii right now for the 80th. So that's what it is. It's the 80th commemoration of the bombing of Pearl Harbor. And... Uh, his name is Derek South. So uh, a big salute to all of you who have been willing in the past to fight and die for your families, for your country, for what you believe is good in the world. Um, Unless you were throughout the Japanese. history, throughout all time. <laughs> yep, even prehistory. Unless you were the yep. Japanese. Well, even if you were the Japanese. Yeah, well. yeah, because th they were fighting for what they believed was good, and they were fighting for their families, and so. But they're um, the one who started the war. Yeah, they did. They bombed Pearl Harbor, but it, it wasn't necessarily the people. It was the country. It was the leaders, right? And so, um, uh, yeah. So, anyways, a salute to all those individuals who've been willing to what? fight so for for their families, uh, fight for their their well, community. We salute you. Have you ever heard of D Day? Nope. Yeah. My grandmother or Grammy's brother pretty much knew he was going to die on a day called D-Day. He yeah. went in knowing he was going to die. You could call it suicide in a way, but he did it for what he believed was a good cause what and what we believe was a good cause. What so he, he stormed the beaches of Normandy in France. Imagine that you have lots of, of uh, Germans right up here, all with machine guns, and you're climbing up this hill right here. No trees, no blockade, nothing, and you're just getting picked off. That would be so hard. That would be, yeah, you gotta be super brave to be able to do that, man. Super Wait, brave. So your grandma, not just super brave, super like good or like. Your Grammy's yeah. brother died? He died, yeah, climbing up a hill like this on a beach. So, you know, we were talking about like when was it that this was taking place? Yes. These were built, uh, I was right, about 80 years ago, because the um, December 7th, 80 years ago, was the. Pearl uh, Harbor? The Pearl Harbor, yeah. Right. And that's my granddad right now is actually in Honolulu for the 80th. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me because they got music playing in the background, but you see those right there are original bullet holes from Pearl Harbor. Unreal. Check this place out. And I came out of boot camp and it put us on it. No, no experience on shooting guns or anything. And they put us on those big guns and said, learn how to shoot them. <laughs> so we went out to, to the ocean for 10 days and shot those guns. Came back in and we, we really knew what we were doing. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Alright, so we're headed up to explore some of the other bunkers here. So 
some that have some gun mounts. Oh, here's a road. Yeah. We going this way? Going in. Oh, oh nice. All right, you can see the turret uh, is here, or the turret mount. Oh. Let's see. Check that out. That is cool. Oh Big yeah, this is where there. they mount the guns. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Aww, it's Baby Yoda. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, this GoPro just doesn't do justice to that. Daddy! I don't know if any of y'all noticed, but I got a new hat. I lost my other hat on the Homeless in Hawaii episode. I set it down somewhere and came back and it wasn't there. My own fault. Anyways, I like this hat better. It's Scalia is the brand. Scalia? I don't know how you say it. Oh yeah. Nice fat wood. Is it good? We found it this whole time hiking around. I haven't found any. It's not the best, but smell it. It's good stuff. Let's go. For those of you who don't know what fat wood is, it's wood that is fat pitch from uh, sap residue resin. After the tree dies, just settling and preserving the wood. Kind of like turpentine. You can actually use it to make turpentine. All right, agents, so we have had a fantastic time camping inside of this bunker. We're about to head to an even bigger bunker. It's more public. These are kind of private. Like, they aren't necessarily on the map. You don't know they're here unless you kind of like do some research or go try to go check it out. But we're gonna clean up camp here, and then we are headed to a much bigger bunker that uh, they got it all boarded up. I don't think you can even visit the inside of it. All right, so we're here, and uh, here is we're the drive-through drive bunker. It's a drive-through bunker. Right. Let's see. It's gated off at some parts. So I guess this is where like military vehicles would like come in and like dock, I guess, and like. Yeah, look at these big doors. Oh my gosh, that those are open. huge. That one's open. This one, open? wow. Oh, it is oh, yeah. open. Closed huh. because you can't go in. Yeah. It. So Agent Brightside was doing some research and. The missiles that they would shoot from these bunkers could be up to this size right here. And this is actually one of the missiles, I guess. <laughs> Man, that is so big. So this, this was not to shoot down a plane, I don't think. This would be to shoot down a warship. A Su uh, submarine or a warship that, was, that would be coming in. Wow. Check that out. Look at this Whew, big hill. This huge. whole hill is the bunker. So the bunker just goes all the way down into there. Yeah. There's a bag of cleaning equipment. People come in Oh my and gosh, look how far this thing goes back. Woo. All made possible by the new Adventure Agents Lantern. to coastal defense system. So look, Camp Hayden is where we camped out last night. So that's where we were, Camp Hayden, okay. And so you can see Camp Hayden here. Um, and yeah. then in alliance, obviously, with Canada, there's can Canadian. Oh, okay, defenses. Canadian, we got, the, we got the pincer move. So they came through here, the, Juan, the Strait of Juan de Fuca. Okay. Then all these points we could just, you know. Get them. Get them. And here's one of the guns. Yeah. There, didn't it right smell there. like that thing? Okay, four two. objectives, troops. Listen up. Here's One. the objectives. One, to deny hostile ships entry into Puget Sound and the Strait of Juan de Fuca, east of Slip Point. Two, to defend harbor facilities and shipping in Puget Sound, Port Angeles and the Strait against bombardment by naval gunfire. Three, to support by artillery fire the beaches defense of the beach defense of the United States territory. All right, so we are standing on top of the bunker now. So this is the very top. All right, well, this is as good a time as any to end it, agents. Remember, life's an adventure, and love is a key, and love is a who, and love loves you. That's what I believe. You are special, you are important. I believe that, very special and important. If you hear this, if you hear what I'm saying, then you are very, very special and important, so remember that. Remember, take your families on an adventure. Get them out, go visit a bunker, uh, go camp somewhere interesting. Oh, nice. Agent X found some wild devils. I don't want you right All right, well, until next time, agents. Uh, I already said that. Life's an yeah. adventure, love is key. I'll say it again. Agent X out. <laughs> Agent Priceline out. <laughs> Agent X. Agent X out. Agent Chickweed out. Yeah. Agent X. Oh, look at the moth. 
We'll we see did. you on the next adventure. <laughs> if you want to see an awesome camping video that Agent Axe made in our bushcraft log cabin with Agent Tracker, click on the video that you see popping up right now. And be sure to subscribe to Agent Axe's channel for more awesome camping videos.